You have to get your wisdom teeth removed. Okay. Mm. Big myth here. Big, big, <laughs> big myth. Charcoal toothpaste is better than regular toothpaste. No. No, no, no. There is no such thing as brushing too much. Try to brush for at least two minutes, right? Sing Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. What? I feel like that's so short. No, like sing the whole verse. Hey everyone, my name is Dr. Amina Saeed. I'm a dentist working out of the Chicagoland area. And my name is Dr. Aliyah Pringle Aleem, also a dentist. And we are here to debunk some dental myths. Myth number one, sugar causes cavities. Oh my gosh, sugar actually is not the cause of cavities. In your mouth, you have active normal bacteria and when sugar is fed to that bacteria, the bacteria produces acid and it creates cavities on teeth. So it's the fuel for the bacteria to cause the cavities. Myth two, electric toothbrushes are better than regular toothbrushes. The most important thing is that you are actually brushing, right? So having that mechanical movement against your teeth, whether it be an electric toothbrush, a regular toothbrush, that's the most important thing to prevent plaque from sitting on the surfaces of our teeth. So if you have a regular toothbrush, you can still do a good job of brushing at home. Myth number three, white teeth are always healthy. White teeth really just have to do with how your enamel appears on the surface. So your tooth actually has three layers. It has the inside core, which is the pulp. It has that middle layer, which is yellow in color. And then it has enamel, which shows up whiter. It's like the armor of your tooth. So genetically speaking, if you don't have the type of teeth that will appear whiter after whitening, you'll have to go maybe veneers or crowns to get a whiter, whiter, whiter smile. It's very possible to have, you know, cavities, bone loss, periodontal disease, even with pearly white teeth. All right, myth number four. There is no such thing as brushing too much. Anytime you wanna take plaque off your teeth, we're all for it. But it, then it comes to how hard are you brushing, right? Some people go in there and it's like a chainsaw. They're just And what ends up happening is when you break down that enamel by so much, so much hard and vigorous brushing, you end up getting sensitivity. So people are like, oh, I drink something and my teeth hurt. Go and you look at your toothbrush and if the bristles are flared out like this, you're doing it too hard. Myth number five, drinking with a straw is better for your teeth. This is kind of true, but also kind of false. So drinking through a straw is theoretically better for your teeth if done the right way. So if you drink through the straw and the liquid literally just passes from the straw, maybe to your tongue, to your throat, and you swallow, then that's okay. But the problem comes with when people drink through the straw and they still kind of swish it around in their mouths, that kind of defeats the purpose <laughs> of drinking through the straw. It's damaging your teeth the longer that that liquid sits on your teeth. So drink it fast if you can, drink it through a straw the right way if you can, um, and always, always, always follow it up with water. If you can follow up your acidic drinks with water, you can help your body get your pH back down to neutral or back up to neutral quicker. Myth six, brushing harder makes your teeth cleaner. Okay, brushing harder does not make your teeth cleaner. What makes your teeth cleaner is effective brushing. If you're brushing the right way, right? If I take my toothbrush and I'm jamming it in there with 600 pounds of force against my teeth, I'm causing a lot of damage. So it's not about the strength, it's more about the motion. Angle your toothbrush a little bit so that the bristles are actually angled into the gums and you move back and forth. Think about brushing two to three teeth at a time instead of large, big strokes. Myth number seven is a good one. Charcoal toothpaste is better than regular toothpaste. There is no research that suggests that charcoal toothpaste is better than your normal fluoride toothpaste, zero. What people are kind of attracted to about charcoal toothpaste is that it, it promotes the idea that it will whiten your teeth. People went as far as to taking raw charcoal, like just kind of charcoal powder, and brushing their teeth with that in hopes that they were going to, like, I don't know, unlock a secret whitened tooth door. No. No, no, no. So what can end up happening is if you use charcoal, 
too much, you can end up wearing away your enamel, which will then make your teeth appear more yellow, the opposite of what you want. Myth eight, you have to get your wisdom teeth removed. Okay, mm. big myth here. <laughs> big, big, big myth. I know. Listen, man, let me tell you, let me tell you, you do not have to get your wisdom teeth removed. If there is a specific reason, like it's causing you pain, the tooth now has a giant cavity. The tooth is impacted or now pushing up against the tooth in front of it. And now it's just causing a whole drama inside your mouth, right? For a lot of people, that can be a very valid reason to have those teeth removed. And another reason that these teeth should be removed sometimes is getting to those third molars by ourselves at home and cleaning them or these wisdom teeth can be very, very difficult. If they're in line with the others and if they're, if they're completely fine, um, yeah, you treat it like any other tooth. Myth number nine, you should brush right after every meal after you eat your mouth becomes more acidic so it just naturally does it doesn't matter what you eat and if you take something mechanical like bristles and rub it up against your enamel in an acidic environment you can more easily wear down your enamel and you're doing more harm than good so what you want to do you want to wait a little bit you want to wait at least 30 minutes until your mouth gets more basic more neutral and then go in and brush I always tell my patients, you know, if you eat and then you have food stuck in your teeth, you're literally throwing a free buffet to bacteria that didn't pay to get in there. Myth 10, teeth grinding is not a serious problem. A lot of people don't know that they grind their teeth. A lot of it is you grind at night subconsciously when you're asleep, you don't even recognize that you're doing it. So what teeth grinding does, number one, it can start wearing away at the surfaces of your teeth. So if you wear away the protective layer, now you are at a much higher risk of having way more sensitive teeth. When you used to drink a cold glass of water before and didn't feel anything, now there's a chance if you drink that cold glass of water without enamel, that you may have experiences with some sensitivity. Another reason that grinding is a serious problem is that it can have effects on our jaw. If you're like me and you're a grinder, you definitely need to get a mouth guard. Teeth grinding is definitely on the rise. Myth number 11, gum bleeding means you should stop flossing. Do not stop flossing because your gums bleed. You gotta just push through it. Gum bleeding basically means that there has been so much inflammation around your tooth and so much potential food stuff that's kind of stuck there. When you disturb it with the floss, your gums get angry and then they start to bleed. Flossing is never going to have a negative effect on your oral cavity. Coming in hot with myth number 12, aligners will straighten your teeth. Okay, this is a very loaded question. What is the stability of their teeth? How long are they going to keep these teeth? Are their gums healthy? Is the bone healthy? By jumping into aligners without having that very crucial knowledge, there's a chance that when you're trying to straighten these teeth, you could lose these teeth. A good rule of thumb for me is if they don't take x-rays and they wanna move your teeth, you probably should not let them do that. Myth lucky number 13, toothaches always mean cavities. When you think about uh, a cavity, you think of a small hole in your tooth that's gonna get filled with something. You don't know what, the dentist does it and then it's fixed. But a toothache can be kind of an indicator for something way more serious. So it could possibly be an indication for bone loss. When you bite down and you're having a lot of pain, it could be because the bone around your tooth has started to resorb, started to disappear. It can be an indication of a fracture in your tooth. Myth 14, chewing gum is just as good as brushing. Chewing gum is nowhere near as good as brushing, right? So chewing gum definitely has some positive properties, okay? Number one, if you're gonna chew gum, 
you want to try to chew sugar free gum or uh, if you want to look for gum that has xylitol in it, which is a great sugar option in your gum. What that's going to do is it's going to promote saliva production. But for as great as chewing sugar free gum is, it will never take away or be a substitute for brushing. Right. You have to go in there with mechanical work, toothbrush, whether electric, manual and get those surfaces of those teeth clean and free of plaque. Your oral health is a part of your overall health. So it's not something separate. Like you can't just take your mouth out and put it someplace. You have to treat it like it's a part of your body. And so daily maintenance is crucial. A lot of people have, you know, dental anxiety. Like it, it, it's normal, it's a lot to think about. There's so many factors that people think about before deciding to go to a dentist. Sometimes going to the dentist to just talk can really make a difference. If you want more information about oral health and just best practices, you can always check out ADA.org and they have tons of resources. Um, just type it into the search bar and something will pop up that can help you.